हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम सेंसर्स एंड ट्रांसड्यूसर्स इन द लास्ट थ्री और फोर वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू सेंसर्स ट्रांसड्यूसर्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर ट्रांसड्यूसर व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ अ फिजिकल पैरामीटर व्हिच इज द कैपेसिटिव टैकोमीटर सॉरी सो इट इज बेसिकली अ कैपेसिटिव ट्रांसड्यूसर व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ओके रोटेशनल स्पीड सो द कैपेसिटिव टैकोमीटर एज आई सेड इट इज अ कैपेसिटिव ट्रांसड्यूसर सो इट विल ऑपरेट ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटिव and it is used for the measurement of linear and angular velocity so before uh, discussing the constructional and uh, working principle of uh, the capacitive tachometer let us just brush up a few things related to capacitive transducer so the operation of uh, any capacitive sensor is based on the principle of parallel plate capacitor now the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor arrangement is given by c is equal to epsilon a by d okay that is the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor where epsilon is the permittivity of the medium a is the overlapping area d is the distance or the separation between the parallel plates which is uh, represented in this way the capacitor plates in the parallel plate capacitor where d is the separation between the plates and uh, a is the area of overlap or the portion of the plates which lies one above the other the amount the area of the plates which lie directly above the other so this uh, capacitance formula can be written as epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d <coughs> where epsilon 0 is the absolute permittivity which permittivity of free space epsilon r is the relative permittivity and a by d is the overlap area and the distance of separation so any change in capacitance can be brought about by changing three things first is the distance or the separation distance between the plates okay first that the separation distance between the plates next is the overlapping area okay the overlapping area the amount or the portion the space of each plate which lies above the other that and finally is the permittivity or the dielectric constant the relative permittivity in the absolute permittivity it is constant so the capacitive tachometer in the capacitive tachometer the arrangement the setup it consists of two capacitor plates parallel which form the parallel plate capacitor combination and a rotating vane along with a shaft connecting shaft this is the whole capacitive tachometer arrangement parallel plate capacitor arrangement and <coughs> the rotating shaft and vane arrangement now this rotating shaft this shaft is connected to the movable part or the movable component of which the angular velocity is to be measured basically a motor or a generator the rotating part now when it is connected to the movable part or the movable component this this vane this rotating vane it rotates <coughs> so what happens is that when it rotates there are 
the overlapping area associated with this parallel plate capacitor it changes in this case this vein lies in between the two capacitor plates so the overlapping area is this this much of the par the capacitor plate lies one above the other when the vein is within the two capacitor plates this case for this case the overlapping area is this this uh, second one the gray portion is the overlapping area of the two plates now when the rotating vein comes out of the two parallel plate capacitor it does not lie within the in between the two capacitor plates this is the overlapping area the whole of the two area of the two plates lies one above the other so when this vein is in between the two capacitor plates the overlapping area it is reduced so this directly affects the capacitance <coughs> of the parallel plate capacitor as it is directly proportional to the overlapping area the capacitance is directly proportional to the overlapping area so as a result of that the capacitance can either get reduced or it will lie, it will it will lie at the fixed value when the overlapping area is maximum so the capacitance can only reduce get reduced from this position okay in this position when the vein is outside of the two capacitor plates the capacitance will be maximum and gradually when it goes into the two uh, capacitor plates the space in between the two capacitor plates as the overlapping area gets reduced the capacitance will slowly decrease so this is the whole operating principle of the uh, capacitive tachometer this rotating vein which is uh, the movable part of this uh, transducer is connected to the rotating component be it a motor generator then this vein it rotates along with the shaft as a result it changes the overlapping area between the two capacitor plates as a result of which the capacitance it gets reduced when in this condition when the overlapping area is maximum this is the capacitance epsilon a by d in this case when the vein is in between the two capacitor plates the capacitance will get reduced by a factor delta c because a reduction in the overlapping area delta a okay now to change this uh, this capacitance into a suitable voltage we have to use a signal conditioning circuit now that signal conditioning can be in the form of a tank circuit a uh, inductor capacitor circuit or we can use ac bridges okay capacitance uh, any ac bridge involving capacitance so that is a different discussion uh, the whole tank circuit and ac bridge but for now you understand that the signal conditioning to convert it into a suitable voltage or current signal the signal conditioning mechanism can either be a tank circuit or a ac capacitance bridge so this is the whole uh, idea about the capacitive tachometer now we discussed about the various things the capacitive tach uh, tachometer construction then the working principle the concept of how the overlapping area changes with the rotating vein and the uh, signal conditioning part so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much